welcome. We are coming to the end of our 31 days together and there is still time to lock everything in to make stuff happen. I hope that this has been so far your best month yet, but if it has not yet been, we are about to make it. So we have three days left together, including today. And today I wanted you to be able to praise yourself. To be, And we don't take enough time to do this for ourselves. Usually we are the first to praise everybody else and we are usually the last on our own list. So I wanna take the time today to let you know who you are because here's the thing, we're on day 29. Do you know if you, simple, if you go back and you look at the day one views on these videos and it doesn't make me sad, it actually makes me happy because what I focus on more as the creator of these videos and the person, like the host that's taking you through all this, I look at the final videos and I know that that percentage of people are the ones that are here, that stuck to it, that are present in their goals and are technically the ones that will probably make it in the long run. You know why? Because you stick to the stuff you say you're going to do. So I hope that you can realize this. You are the 0.01% of people that make it big because you stick to it. You started something on day one and you are still here. If you look at the views of today's video versus the views of the first video, it's probably about half. You are the people that are still here. You are the rock star that is making stuff happen because you know what? You made a decision on day one that you were going to change your life and you're still here. And for that, you should clap for your damn self. So let's just take a second and clap for our damn selves and do a little internal celebration. It can go off in the chat, but you guys need to understand that we don't pause enough, especially I will say as women, we don't pause enough and cheers to the seemingly small celebrations that we should be having along the way. And this should be a celebration. You made it to freaking day 29. You are the 0.01% of people that actually make it big. And that's often a question that I've asked myself, that people have asked me, like, what makes someone different in terms of them seeing crazy success versus someone that doesn't? I really do think that it comes down, and we've talked about this over the past couple of days, it's a daily choice to show up. And it is hard some days to show up. It is not easy. We all have crap. We all have stuff that is difficult, but it is a daily choice to show up and actually be intentional about the things that you want to achieve in your life. And you've done that. And so many of you guys have commented saying, this has been the best month ever. Like, I feel more focused. I feel more intentional about what I'm actually doing. And I feel happier. And that was the whole point of this is not only to take you through how I plan my day. And you guys have now seen the planner, which the reaction to that was just everything for me. You need to know. But going through that in such a, let's be honest, simple way, that planner is not some crazy outlandish thing that you have to fill out everything and you're going to track every two seconds of your day. The whole idea is that it's simple in the sense that you're moving towards and to the stuff that actually makes you happy and fills your soul. And you're not filling your day with a bunch of random stuff that at the end of the day, week, month, or year, you go, I don't know what I did. Like, I, I can't tell you what I did with my time and what I worked towards. And that is a, like, I've been there and that's a crappy feeling. And hopefully over just the past 29 days, we've shifted that. But I want you to know that you're, honestly, you're amazing. And I hope that you can truly take that in. So I want to do two things. I want you to be able to, and you don't have to feel weird about this because I shared this, I think it was yesterday, how we're, you're in a safe zone here. So I think about, I don't know if you guys know this, I'm not like a UFC person. My husband loves UFC. Andre is like obsessed with it. He actually like does all that stuff himself too. But I got into watching Rose Namajunas. And if you guys don't know who that is, she's a UFC fighter. She is stunning. First of all, just like such a natural beauty, but she has a heart of gold. And the last time that she fought, and I I was so sad because I couldn't even stay up that late to watch it. But Andre was watching and he said, you got to watch this. And she won And I don't want to butcher this, but Joe Rogan basically said, I could see you chanting something before you went out. And she said, yeah, I was saying I'm the best. And he goes, well, you are the best. And she goes, I am the best. And it's so emotional to watch that because it's almost weird to hear someone talk about themselves like that. And even I struggle with it, but I wanted to play this game with you guys today. It can be something as simple as I'm the best, but pick something like, what are you proud of yourself for, of doing this past 29 days. Like what have you done that you're proud of yourself, that you feel better? Just pay yourself a compliment. 
seriously, pay yourself a compliment. And then your homework today, and this is where you don't have to do this in the chat because you're not going to have enough time because the clock's going to run out, but you could post it in the comments. I want you to write a letter to your future self. I did this. I feel like I should, I'll share it on my Instagram. And you guys, when you finish yours, tag me on Instagram. So I did this years ago, literally like years ago. I almost wonder if I should run downstairs and go find it. We're going to, I'm going to run really, really fast and try and find it. Carl's going to be so upset. Okay. BRB. I found it. Okay. This is so old. And the reason why it's, it has a couple crinkles, but the reason why it's still in perfect condition is I hide it around the house. And as soon as I paused us and I went, where am I going to find this? I sometimes leave it in like a big coffee table book and that's where it was. So I wrote this letter. If you're on the podcast, I'm sorry, you can't see this. I wrote this letter on, I want you to be able to see this so you know that I'm not full of it. February, 2016. That's a long time ago. All right. So this is a letter to myself. Nothing crazy. You can see how big the font is. It doesn't have to be that long, but I will read it to you and hopefully it can blow your mind because I had just started my business pretty much. We were, we were achieving things in the business, but I'll blow your mind. All right. So my goal is to inspire, motivate, and help others to change their fate, to help people achieve greatness that know that they are destined for more than the life that they are currently living, to have a substantial impact on the lives of my coaches and mentor them in their business to ultimately help them live a life of freedom and fulfillment. My ongoing why is to live life by my watch, my design, my rules. It is my goal to be able to provide a life that is financially secure and free for my family and future children, and to be able to have the freedom to say yes and never be forced to limit my dreams or theirs because of time, energy, or money. Whew. Now I blow your mind. Our current biggest why, to do the unimaginable and live in the happiest place on earth on Disney property. That was a long time ago that I wrote that. And it feels really good for future Angie to read that every once in a while, whenever I go find it. And every time I read it, it's more and more true. And I have not read that letter since we've actually moved into our house. So that's crazy. So how cool would it be for you to write a letter to your future self? So either type it out in the comments below, type it out. I just did that on like PicMonkey and printed it and tag me and I want to see it. And I hope nothing more for you than to be able to read that letter to yourself a year from now. And you're like floored at the stuff and the progress that you've been able to accomplish and how far you've been able to move forward. And I hope that it can be the most rewarding and emotional experience for you to do that because you are the 1%. You committed, you're a freaking rock star, man. And you are moving forward, whether it feels like that right now or not, you are. So we just have a couple of days left together. So with that said, hopefully today was not too emotional for you guys. It was for me. Alrighty. I will see you guys tomorrow. I don't ever want this to end, but we, we got, we got to end it at some point. So we have a couple of days left to make magic happen. So let's do this. And we'll see you guys then. Bye, dudes.